Aloha. Welcome to A Course in Miracles workbook. We're starting a new review of the last uh, few chapters, starting at 50. And today, we're going to start out by reading the introduction. We are now ready for another review. We will re begin where our last review left off and cover two ideas each day. The earlier part of each day will be devoted to one of these ideas and the latter part of the day to the other. We will have one longer exercise period and frequent shorter ones in which we practice each of them. The longer practice periods will follow this general form and take about 15 minutes for each of them and begin by thinking about the ideas for the day and the comments that are included in the assignments. Devote some three or four minutes to reading the comments over slowly several times, if you wish, and then close your eyes and listen. Repeat the first phrase of the exercise period if you find your mind wondering but try to spend the major part of the time listening quietly and attentively. There is a message waiting for you. Believe that. There is a message waiting for you. That's a big part of it, is believing that the Holy Spirit, the voice for God, will speak to you. Be confident that you will receive it. Remember that it belongs to you. And most of all, remember that you want it. It's so important to want it. Not to just be doing these exercises to, you know, I said it's an experiment, but at this point in the experiment, there's an element of wanting it because we wanted the ego and its system of separation and darkness. We wanted that. And it, because we wanted it, we're experiencing it. So in order to make a different change of mind and to hear the voice for God, because we, w there's a part of us that doesn't want it. So we need to remind ourselves that our, in our deepest self, we do want to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. So do not allow your intent your intent to waver in the face of distracting thoughts. You know, and the ego will bring distracting thoughts because it doesn't really want you to hear any other voice other than the voice of the ego. But realize that whatever form such thoughts may take, they have no meaning and they have no power. You know, the idea that that your, the ego wants us to believe that our thoughts and our ideas that we have apart from God do have power. And they actually did have an effect. They, they severed heaven in two and destroyed God. But what we're going to learn if we listen is that these were meaningless thoughts and they have no effect. Even though this whole world around us, well, actually within us, is in a, is, seems to be effect, but it's really just an illusion. Only God is. So, do not allow your intent to waver in the face of distracting thoughts. 
realizing that whatever form such thoughts may take, they have no meaning, no meaning, and they have no power. Replace them with your determination to succeed. Do not forget that you, your will has power over fantasies and over dreams. And that's what the world that we experience as bodies, experiencing them separate from one another and separate from God, that's all they are. They're just dreams and fantasies, hallucinations, illusions. And our will has power over those illusions. Regard these practice periods as dedications to the way, the truth, and the life. Refuse to be sidetracked into detours, illusions, and thoughts of death. You are dedicated to salvation. Be determined each day not to have your function unfulfilled. Reaffirm your determination in the shorter practice periods as well, using the original form of the idea for general applications and more specific forms when needed. Some specific forms are included in the comments, which follow the statements of the ideas. These, however, are merely suggestions. It's not the particular words you use that matter. It's the intent. It's the desiring. It's the wanting. It's the will. That's what matters. Not that we get every word just right. You know, that was one thing that I felt like I had to get all the words right like a magic spell, but this isn't magic. You just have to want it. You have to want to know the truth above all else. So here we go. Lesson 81. I am the light of the world. That was lesson 61. How holy am I who have been given the function of lighting up the world let me be still before my holiness. In its calm light, let all my conflicts disappear. In its peace, let me remember who I am. And some specific forms for applying this idea when uh, special difficulties come or arise might be, let me not obscure the light of the world in me, or let the light of the world shine through this appearance. That's all it is, an appearance. This shadow, this shadow will vanish before the light. Okay, and those are the one, that's the one we're gonna focus on for the first half of the day. I am the light of the world. Oh, you can hear them blowing the horns. The sun just went down. And they're blowing the conch shells. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But uh, anyway. Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. That was lesson 62. It is through accepting my function then I will see the light in me. So you want to see the light in you. It's in accepting our function. Of course, we know by now, we have an idea, we don't understand all about it, but that it's forgiveness is our function. And in this light, will my function stand clear and perfectly unambiguous before my sight? My acceptance does not depend on my recognizing what my function is. For I do not yet understand forgiveness. Yet I will trust that in the light, 
I will see it as it is. Specific forms for using this idea might include, let this help me learn what forgiveness means, or let me not separate my function from my will, or I will not use this for an alien purpose. So that's basically going to be the way we're going to do these reviews. We're going to spend the first part of the day on the first one. And then we're going to spend the last part of the day on the second one. And at the beginning, at the end, or whenever, you know, works good for you, we're going to um, have like about a 15-minute period. And then all throughout the day, Whenever you can remember, remind yourself, we're going to just spend a couple of minutes thinking about whichever one we're on. The first one, I am the light of the world, or the second one, forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. So I think these reviews are awesome because sometimes you see you know, may, maybe you didn't even get it in the first time, but in the review, sometimes that really will catch hold and your eyes will whew, be open and you'll see something that you didn't see before that's life-changing and something that'll stay with you from then on. So I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I bless you. Thank you for spending this time with me, and I honor you as the light of the world. Namaste. Mahalo. <laughs>